Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here, as always, is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. This is an update video. It's been a while since I've actually done a channeling session for you. Again, I want to be clear, this video is an update video. So I feel like I should share a little more with you about why I felt like I needed to take a break from channeling. Obviously, the world events and lots going on in the world over the course of the last several months has definitely taken its toll on many of us, especially those of us who feel everything, <laughs> who are empathic, clairsentient, psychic, or intuitive. Pretty much everybody that's watching this probably does apply to you, right? But I think I should share with you the mediumship and the psychic side of why it was really important for me to take a, this break. And I'm still on a break. And I don't know when I'm coming back to just do the afterlife celebrity channeling. In the meantime, you know that every Sunday I am sharing a podcast style about intuitive topics called Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. So it's not like I'm missing or just not here. I am, but in a different way than you're used to. So let's talk about the mediumship and the psychic part of the break. So being very empathic and feeling literally everything, I have been like this forever and I can feel when things don't feel quite right in alignment. So I need to take a step back, take really good care of myself, get back into my self-care practices, especially working with energy. I do a lot of teaching, a lot of coaching around intuition and tools and techniques to help you manage the way that you feel, the way that you are interpreting information, how you're managing your life as a spiritual being, because you are a spirit and a human, you're both. That's part of the point of Above Life Channel is to share inspiring messages from those who know those spirits in the afterlife to give us better understandings about how to be people who are very intuitive in tune and making that choice to be in tune. Okay, so that's what it's about, right? That's the purpose. So as part of that, I know when I need to care more about myself than I do about myself in the world and what other people need from me. So what others need is not as important as what you need for yourself. And it can feel very pulled. You can feel really pulled, like you need to show up, you need to do weekly channeling, you need to do volunteer work, um, you need to do X, Y, and Z just because you've always done it and that's the kind of person you are, super reliable, and other people need you. The truth is, is other people don't need you as much as you think they do, as much as you need them to need you. And so I was like, wait a minute, do I need people that are watching Above Life Channel to need me? Do I need you to need me to channel for you? No! No, 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 no. You should see some of the emails, the personal emails that I've gotten requesting me to, to channel people and give specific information from celebrities to individuals for all sorts of different topics and all different kinds of things. And well, I suppose that's a natural thing maybe to to reach out and share and connect, especially if you feel like you get to know me, because you do, because I just show up in my authenticity every week, so you do get to know me, right, as a person. So you might feel like you know me really well, which is very flattering, which is awesome, because that's, that's, that's a great compliment. It means I'm doing something right, <laughs> right, as I'm channeling, and all of those emails and things and those pleas for help are the ones that are begging me for help and they're at their wits end and they can't function and they're just, they've had so much grief or loss or they're sick or they're down on their luck or life's given them a tough hand to manage. That on top of the current events of the last six months and the health of the world has just put so much energy into psychic connection 
in a group setting, like globally. Um, I always like to work with small groups anyway, and YouTube is not a small group, <laughs> so I'm really aware of that too. And so channeling for you all, even if I'm not channeling live, I feel all of you, I feel everybody, and this need for me to satisfy a need for you, and I just can't do that, I can't. And I've had very high expectations and high standards for quality for myself, for connection, for being a really good role model for you about intuition and encouraging you, 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 to work with your own intuition, that you don't need a psychic to do it for you, but that by listening to one, you can get tools and tips and get inspired and encouraged to maybe live your life better and to make changes that you need to make and learn more about energy and other resources that you have available to you besides those traditional methods of just mind, intellect, school, that way. There's so many other ways. It also, in addition to, there's so many other resources. So being a medium and a psychic for me during this time has been a lot, especially kind of getting more public and more people reaching out to me personally. So that's one layer of it. That's a lot, it's intense, and I just can't respond to all the emails. And obviously I can't just, just help people that are begging me <laughs> to help them. I just, that's what Above Life Channel is. It's a platform for that. If you need that kind of, if you need help inspiring your spirit yes that's what this is but but privately in private session my private session work isn't isn't about desperation and last hope it's about inspiration and empowerment and for people who are really in a place to want to be accountable for their lives and to, to make changes to embrace your own healing to start driving your own bus and i help with that and i give tools and techniques and things and so that's what I do in private sessions. So the mediumship piece and the psychic piece, the part about current events that I have to share with you that I haven't shared with you is that over time, especially, I'm probably gonna get really emotional because it is so incredibly powerful. The number of spirit, the number of people who used to be in human form who have made a transition into the afterlife in huge mass waves. It's like an immigration. It's like almost like refugees from humanity leaving body and becoming spirit fully. And that transition process is supposed to be beautiful and freeing and, and timely and intuitive and no matter how the actual body is treated in the end of life, the moment of release is completely, is supposed to be completely at freedom. It's, <sighs> the number of people who have died in mass in a short amount of time in the world. I live in the United States and it's more people than died in one of our wars in like a six month period over a war that was like 10 years. And so what has happened, what started to happen for me starting in about May, early May, end of April, was when I was doing session as a, and I was doing mediumship, I don't offer mediumship right now, but when I was offering mediumship, again, I'm not offering mediumship, which means afterlife connection, I'm not doing that right now. But when I did and was, I would start to feel in regular session and a, like I was in a football stadium and I was sitting for session in the middle of the football stadium and all of these people, 20,000, like all of these people, 100, 100, over 100,000 people, spirit people were all there watching me do session. It's almost like, not waiting, but watching, kind of like too many onlookers 
And I know you're probably thinking, well, you should manage your energy and you should set your space, especially if you work with energy, you know, you're an energy worker or a healing person, so to speak, which we all are, by the way. FYI, everybody is. It's not a job description. It's just a state of being. Everyone is a healer. You're your own healer. But I know you're probably thinking, well, Bridget, you know, set space, create safe and sacred space, use your tools. Yeah, I can use my tools, but it's like layering up. It's like getting full armored just to go into a session. And it's ridiculous. It's not worth it. It's exhausting. It's so tiring to try to do that. And for me, it was because my own human energy was depleted. And so I'm building my energy back up. I'm coming back into my center, practicing my own safe and sacred space skills and creating safe space, healthy spiritual boundaries, healthy human boundaries, because the human boundaries and the spirit boundaries get really mixed up. I have found when you're on YouTube, big time, big time when you're on YouTube, because there's this human component to YouTube and there's this superhuman component to YouTube like, like I'm just sitting around waiting to just talk about spirit stuff with everybody. I'm not. I have like lots of projects I'm working on, classes I teach online. I have small groups I'm working with. I have, I have clients already besides anything on Above Life channel. And so I was out of alignment and I was feeling so much from all these people who left their bodies and it's not sad that they left. It's not sad even at, no matter what age they were, no matter how they crossed over from the virus, they, I know that there's a choice and I, I understand all that, but the families, everybody that's left is grieving so much. People are so sad and they're scared that they're gonna be like that and that they're gonna leave their own kids or their grandkids. And to me, that's too much, the feeling. And I just, I can't work in that capacity right now. And that's a personal choice I'm making, okay? And so when I do come back into channeling, uh, celebrities, like people, former people, that I gotta be clear, because I can channel spirit guides, archangels, totem animals, god goddess aspects, saints, all that. Star folks, I can channel all those. But the human people, that's where it gets intensive, denser energy, denser. Energy density, because there's a fear around life and there's a fear around death. There's a concern for life, so there's fear around that. And so that fear energy mixed with the sadness of the grief energy, it's too much, it's too much. So I'm navigating this for my family. I'm a mother of four and the back to school thing just started and there's just a lot. I have an elderly mother-in-law who's in the hospital, not with the viral sickness, but with old old age stuff, lots of other stuff. And so I got to move her out of an apartment, got to do a whole move during this time for her. I don't have to do it. My husband's taking care of that, his family. But at the same time, it's like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden hubby's gone. And I'm like, I have to do this, 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 and this. Plus we have soccer. My son is in soccer, his senior year of high school. And so there's like eight hours of soccer every week, which is a blessing. It's a blessing because he gets to have that experience when the football players don't and other sports don't. So, I mean, we're lucky we've had five games and he plays on two teams. So it's like a four hour stretch uh, twice a week. It's like, it's a whole huge commitment, you guys, it's like a part-time job. And I'm blessed to have that, but it adds. <laughs> and then I have a kid at college that I'm worried about. She can't get a job. So financial stuff is a scary because there's the virus and Nothing on campus is open, so she's gotta get a job off campus. And then if they have to quarantine people on campus, she'll lose her job off campus. And she's competing with everybody else who's lost jobs in the area to try to get a job off campus. And so it's just crazy. And the pay is so low because they know people are desperate. And I'm like, oh my God. there's no money to pay for semester two. So we'll see what happens. So there's a lot going on personally also. So, 
That's why. That's why I'm not channeling right now. I, I just, I can't, give, I can't give the quality that I want to share and that is deserved by anybody spending time watching and to honor not just the celebrity in the afterlife, but their families too who grieve. You know, grief isn't just a one-time thing or it doesn't have like an expiration date like, oh, after two years, you're fine. That's not even true. That's not even true. And it doesn't have a proximity requirement like you had to know them in the human life in order to grieve them in the afterlife. We've talked about this before, my friends. You can have an incredibly intense, powerful reaction when someone in the human form leaves even though you never knew them, like Chadwick Boseman, for example. Or Naya, I can't think of her last name, from Glee. Or Kenny Rogers. I mean, he's died too recently. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was like every other day there was another, I was like, this is too much, this is too much, this is too much. And then with all the social justice uh, um, energy and the, the freedom of, of, of expression and, and the protests and all the energy around all that has added a whole nother layer of, of intensity to the channeling that I do, especially who I represent and how I represent them with my own biases and my own filters as a white lady, middle-aged, middle income. It's like, how dare I? And you know, like there's this whole part of that stuff that I'm like, who do I represent? How do I accurately represent people without using my own filter? How do I channel without being ignorant or naive or whatever? You know, it's just, there's so much. <laughs> so there's layers. I felt like I owed you guys that, like an explanation. An explanation. And it's not like I've been just missing. Again, every Sunday I post a podcast style where I do an audio Sunday morning coffee about a topic. So if you're interested in the intuitive connection, the energy connection of things, watch that. Listen to that. That'll keep your spirit inspired and fill you with some hope to encourage you to live your life. That will certainly help keep the mission and the connection going. In addition, I also have other ways to stay in contact with me. I have been working my tail feathers off on my fairy grasshopper channel where I share intuitive stuff. I share vlogs about my day-to-day -day life, my psychic life. I share videos about intuitive topics. Sometimes I channel like archangels. I'll talk about topics like being an empath. I share videos from the past that I've done in small groups from a couple of years back like a full moon clearing session. I've shared videos about that. I've shared uh, tools, using tools for intuitive connection, like card deck readings. I do lots of card deck readings on there. Lots of inspired inputs for you. So, fairy grasshopper. So check that out if you're interested in the intuitive stuff and you're interested in me, like my work. If you're interested in the celebrity channeling, remember there's hundreds of videos here on on Above Life channel. Go to your favorites, listen to the playlist, get your notebook out and journal. Start to write some journal prompts down, some words that stand out to you, some phrases that those afterlife guests have shared that stand out to you. Use that as a jumping off point for your own inner exploration because they're teaching you. They're giving the opportunity through their insights to learn about yourself. And that's awesome. Again, there's tons of playlists here, hundreds of videos on Above Life channel that you can enjoy. All right. And I definitely will be back for sure. And I will channel when I feel in inspired to channel. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe to Above Life channel. Check out my other channel, Fairy Grasshopper. If you want to find me on social media, Facebook is my homestead at Bridget Inspired and Above Life Channel. There's two pages there on Facebook. Also on Instagram, if you're an Instagrammer, I have Bridget Inspired on Instagram too. So I look forward to connecting with you again over and over and over and over again. I hope you continue to be inspired in spirit and in human form. Thanks for being here.